Welcome. In this quick guide, you're going to learn how to use Adobe Reader's comment tools effectively for your book design revisions. This is going to save you time and effort throughout the design process because your feedback is going to be crystal clear and easy for your designer to understand. Before we dive into using the comment tools for the revisions, you'll need to, one, make sure you have the free version of Adobe Reader installed, and two, download your latest draft from Octavo and open it in the aforementioned Adobe Reader app. Let's take a look at each step. If you haven't already, start by downloading the free version of Adobe Reader from Adobe's official website. Visit get.adobe.com reader, then click download Adobe Reader and follow the instructions to install the free version. Next, download your draft from the Octavo task page. Open up Octavo, Navigate to the Review Design Draft task and click where it says Download to View Complete File. This will download the PDF file to your device. Now you're ready to open your PDF file in Adobe Reader. Set the file up properly for review in a two-page spread. Select the Display Options at the bottom right corner. Select Two-Page View, Show Cover Page, and Zoom to Page Level. This is going to set the PDF up to mimic the layout of the future printed book. And that's the best way to have it for marking it up with your revisions. Finally, to access the comment tools, click on the comments icon, which is usually located both on the right-hand side and under the all tools menu. Clicking either of these icons once opens up the comments bar with the various annotation tools. Now that you're all set up, Let's explore how to use the five most commonly used comment tools effectively. It's important to choose the right comment tool for each type of revision. Each tool serves a specific purpose, mimicking the process of marking up paper with a pen or highlighter. Let's start by covering the two ways to add comments using Adobe Reader. First way lets you apply a revision to a specific section of text. To start, click and drag using the selection tool to highlight the text. Next, choose the comment tool you want to use. Either replace text, highlight text, or strike through text. Click on the tool to apply the effect to the text, and you can now select that newly commented text to add your revision instructions. For example, a new word to fix a typo. The second approach is just the opposite order of what I just described. And this lets you make a formatting comment or point out a specific spot in the book without highlighting text. Start by selecting the tool of choice, for example, the sticky note tool or the insert text tool. Then click on the location in the document where you want your comment to appear. Again, you'll then select the comment you've just placed to add your instructions, for example, a request to make a formatting change. All right. Let's get into the nitty gritty and explore five tools in detail, along with the instructions on how to use them. First up, we have the strike through text tool. Use this to flag text for deletion. Highlight the text, then select the tool. The red strike through indicates text to be removed, and you do not need to add any additional instructions. Next, we have replace text. Highlight the text to be replaced, then select the tool. You'll need to add the new text in what's called a comment note. Type your replacement text, then click Post. This indicates the text to be replaced, along with the new replacement text. Moving on to Insert Text. Select the Insert Text tool first. Now, move the cursor and click where you want to add text. Add the new text in a comment note, then click Post. This indicates new text to be inserted. Important note here, your designer will implement your revisions verbatim and will not edit your text. So please make sure your revision comments are free of any errors. If you need to edit your revision instructions, simply double-click your comment note, change the text, and then click Post again. Now, let's talk about Highlight Text. Use this tool to request formatting changes. Highlight the text, then select the tool. Provide your clear instructions in a comment note. 
Use this tool to show the designer precisely where to make a formatting change. Lastly, we have the sticky note tool. Use this to request design revisions not associated with specific text. Select the tool, click on the page, and type instructions in a note. This is a great tool for requesting creative changes to your front cover design. However, for interior text revisions, this tool often leads to misinterpreted revisions, resulting in design errors, maybe longer wait times for your next draft. So to ensure your designer can accurately implement your revisions, we recommend marking up specific text using one of the other four tools that were just discussed. All right, once you've finished marking up your design draft with your revisions, follow these steps to submit your revisions to the designer. One, save the file, which you have hopefully been doing regularly. Two, return to the Octavo task page. Three, click I want to make revisions. Four, upload the draft file you just saved into the upload area. And five, click complete task to submit your revisions to the designer. And there you have it. You're all set to use Adobe Reader's comment tools for your designer revisions. Let's quickly go over what we've learned. Setup and viewing mode. Start by installing Adobe Reader, then download your draft from Octavo. Open up the PDF in Adobe Reader and switch to the two-page view for a better reading experience that's going to mirror the layout of your eventual printed book. Using the comment tools. Locate the comments toolbar in Adobe Reader and familiarize yourself with the various tools it offers. When you want to make a revision, highlight the relevant text first, then select the appropriate tool to apply your changes. Alternatively, you can select a tool and then click on the text. Once you've applied the tool, add your detailed instructions in the comment note, ensuring they are clear and free of errors. Understanding the tools. We discussed the specific functions of the five main tools, strike through, replace text, insert text, highlight, and sticky note. Each tool is designed for a spe specific type of revision, so it's crucial to choose the right one to convey your feedback accurately. Submitting revisions. Save your file regularly, and when you are finished, upload the file to Octavo and complete the task. With these Adobe Reader comment tools, you can effectively communicate your design revisions. Thanks so much for watching, and best of luck and happy revision.